Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Mike. And you've had this long career. You've done so many memorable roles. You know, a lot of these characters have become almost iconic in the minds of fans. And I'm just wondering about some of the roles that maybe didn't do so well. Have you ever had a role that either right afterwards or a few years down the road, you've looked at yourself and said, what the hell was I thinking? Wait, when you mean, what the hell was I thinking? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, to, to either to take the role or just the way that you went with it, that you just you didn't like what happened with it. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> unfortunately... And I think it, what, what it was, it was the style and the way we did it. I did a series called Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Yes. And because of, my, because of my bad behavior, I had to work alone. Uh, Peter Cullen used to just fall apart, and I, we, they, they finally had to kick everybody out of the room. Uh, we... We didn't create, we created those character voices, but it was a Japanese anime that we had to dub the characters. And we didn't dub to film, we dubbed to time. So we'd get a script and the character would be saying something and we only had a certain amount of time to do it in. So now when I, rec I recently saw it, it's, it's playing like crazy now on television. In fact, I just did an interview for it, they're re-releasing the set, the Voltron set, and I watched it and I went, oh, God. <laughs> if I could find the producer, I'd send him back the money. God, he paid me for that. And I played his character of Lance, obviously, and then and, uh, I think Allura's father. But I also played Mice. And then they said, well, Michael, of all of you guys, has the lightest voice, so you're going to play all the girls. Oh, no. <laughs> So now here I am watching a rerun with my 20-year-old daughter who's uh, studying to be an actress in New York and there's this slave girl and I'm not telling her, it's me. <laughs> and she looks at it and she goes, Dad, is that you? I said, oh, come on, when have I ever, when have I ever sounded like a slave girl? And she said, Dad, that's you. <laughs> yeah, and they because they weren't going to pay a lot of money, so they had you play little kids, you know, and and of course in the Japanese versions, as opposed to the American versions, even today, when you die, you die. When you get mashed, you get mashed, and they cut a lot of that out. We saw some of the original, and there's a lot of nudity in the original Japanese Voltron. I mean, a little guy standing around there saying, "Gee, my nipples are getting hard. What about you?" I said, "Look at this. This is amazing. We don't have that." in American films, but there's a lot of kids getting trampled, so we wound up going, oh no, help me, oh, ah! And a, lot of, a lot of that stuff, and I said, God, by the end of the day, I, you know, I have this little tiny voice, and I can't do it now, but boy, then it was little girl stuff. I said, this is embarrassing. I hope nobody watches me film this. <laughs> now, of course, it comes back to play. <laughs> no, I have to watch it. And I go, yes, I would like not to have done that. I would like that to have been expunged. It's one of those things that you were caught peeping in someone's window and someone photographed you. I, I'd rather not have that. Not on my record anymore. But hey, I got paid for it. What the heck? All right. Thank you very much. What the heck?